Alright, what do we got here? All silver augments, three cost start or artifact anvil? Come on, the idea of artifact anvil, that sounds interesting. Three cost start, I'm also okay with all silver augments, that seems kind of boring, no? Who's voting for that? Robert Pooner? I got, I got beef with you, Robert Pooner. But, uh... Right, we shall see. We shall see what we can get done here. Oh, good, good. He, he got off of that. I think he heard me. Yeah. Artifact Anvil. Cool. So I um, I am I am unfamiliar with with how all of the all of the units synergize with an Artifact Anvil. So we we'll, we will hold off uh, we will hold off popping that until we get our units together. We start with Lilia KDA. Uh, KDA, your team gains max health, ability, power, attack, damage if they're in a lighted hex. KDA hex champions gain double. Very fun line. Superfan. Superfans improve your headliner. And Sentinel, your team gains armor and magic resist. Sentinels gain double. So very good start. Ooh, and we have a Nico to start with as well. So we're almost certainly looking at a KDA line here. Um, got that. We have a super... We have, we have super fans available to us, but of course we'll need a, uh... We'll, we'll need a, uh, a headliner. So so for those who don't know, for those who are still new to the set, uh, every shop you'll see a headliner here. One of their traits, and it's random which one it is, but one of their traits uh, will give you uh, will give you plus two. Um, and so and they'll get a two star, and they get a little bonus effect. So it's it's very it's very interesting, very 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 dynamic. Some stuff you can do there. And I would love to take Annie and try to play some Spellweaver, but I told myself I'm not going to do uh, I'm not going to do any rerolls. And so I will stick by that. By oh, but I had the I had the Amumu as well. Oof, that could have been good. That could have been good. But no, 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 no. We will sell this Mumu, and we will we will headliner. Headliner that lady. Play Kennen. So look at that. So we have we have a great start here. So we have four super fan. So headliner gets a completed item, gets uh 250 health and Omni Vamp, uh, and then we have some Guardian in. We have a very, a very good start here. Now, if we can manage to get a, another KDA unit early, that'll be fantastic for us. This is looking like a very strong AP start here. Oh man, this, this was a, this was a perfect Annie headliner game. But we're not gonna go emo. Gargantuan is all probably not. Lucky Streak probably not. Patient study. Patient study is interesting. Hmm, I think we have a very strong start here. I'm, I'm, I'm listening. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Patient study is the vibe. We can go patient study here. Um, we will level. We'll play Annie. Annie's, uh, you know, an okay AP item holder for now. And what do we get? So we get Eternal Winter. Kind of like the idea of that. Kind of like the idea of that. We'll go Eternal Winter. We'll go Jeweled Gauntlet, that, um, and okay. So we're, we're playing AP, probably leaning into KDA, um, and we'll see what we can do. So we can do with all that. We have a, we have a quite a potent start here. Oh, this guy, I, I was like, how do you get two artifact and artifacts? Well, of course, because you got Lucky Streak. But it's okay. So Patient Study, after player combat, gain two XP if you won or three XP if you lost. Uh, potentially want a lose streak here, but you know I will I will save HP all that I can and gain that two, two XP. Um, Full free, full free. They're gonna let me have it. And surely this Annie can beat him. There we go. And yes, yes, I agree with you, Chad. I gotta, I gotta make some emotes. Uh, unfortunately, I am, uh, I am not uh, that talented when it comes to uh, <laughs> comes to art creation. So if any of you, if any of you out there. Uh, you know, wanna wanna make some emotes? You know, I'll uh, I'll, I'll consider it. I'll, I'll commission you. I'll, I'll 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 pay my dues. So if any if any if any of you, you know, have some art skills and have any ideas of what you'd like to share, you know, I am I am more than willing to to see what you got what you got for me. But all right, and if we get Nar, we could have we could have uh, five five super fan right away, which would be a very powerful start for us. I see this person is leaning into the same thing that we are. And now I wanted to avoid so my 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 my, augments, my my artifacts there. There were two defensive ones that I thought were good. Were were the uh, the Eternal Winter, um, and the and then there was also the what was the other one? Uh, Hull Crusher. I want to avoid Hull Crusher because KDA is going to force us to line up in a specific way 
making Hull Crusher uh, quite difficult to accomplish. Um, but alright, we lose this one, which I'm okay with. I'm very okay with. Um, oh yeah, reroll re infection emote, that, that's a good one. I'm, I'm doing everything in my power to avoid rerolling right here. But you know it's going to happen soon. Um, but alright, and also let's talk about Lilia real quick. So, Lilia, uh, deal uh, magic damage to adjacent enemies and heal Lilia and her nearest ally uh, for, a for AP scaling. Headliner effect. Um, 100 health and confetti bloom heals 20% more. Very cool, very cool. Um, so I'm not going to level here. I'm probably going to sell these two, honestly. And, you know, truthfully looking back, like, a KDA, a KDA, uh, Lilia would have been better here. Um, looks like I win here. Oh, this is actually really cool augment. Shock treatment. Gain a static shiv. Your static shiv's chain lightning effects deal, uh, 75 to 200% more damage based on stage. So you get, you get, like, an attack speed champion, uh, that just keeps doing the static shiv, uh, very, very cool. I, uh, I, I, I like that a lot. Right, we won this one. We will sell Gragas. You have a nice for spell weaver, but we will um we will we will survive. Ooh, prismatic ticket icon. That's that's an idea. I, I like that a lot. I might actually after the stream I might actually make that. That sounds like a cool idea. Um but okay, we want a sword here. Sojin is definitely very good for us here. Yep, we got it, awesome. Sweet. And we have a very good base here. So what we're going to do is we'll chill here. And so this is where this is where the um the 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 flex play, the flex play comes in where Let's see. So sell this sell this guy Sojin. We're making like no money here, which is sad. Um Guardian K we haven't seen a single KDA. True damage. Spellweaver, emo, none of that. Oh, this was this was this was actually gonna be a perfect uh, Annie game, unfortunately. Um, but uh, but yeah, okay. So so but, okay, back to the point. I'm, I'm I'm too busy reading chat of all the all the emote ideas, which which I do love. Um, but so the vibe here is I'm likely gonna sell Lilia, um, come the start of next stage, and try to find a new headliner. Hopefully one that gives me. Hopefully Seraphine is a headliner. It, it, it is a reroll. I'll try to avoid rerolling, um, but it'll at least carry me uh, throughout the stage, throughout the next stage. Um, yeah, it should be good. It should be good. Because I believe on six you can get level you can get level three headliners. And if I get a one unit loss here, yeah, that's actually amazing. That's actually amazing. My my streak is already scuffed, so like I'm not too concerned about that. We get a bunch of XP for that, which is awesome. Um, but unfortunately, we, we don't get uh, don't get anything we can do. We can't, can't buy anything here. That's alright. Twenty gold, mixed streaking. We're level five for free. Getting to six is gonna be dirt cheap. Um, so yes, yeah, so level five. You can get you can get one cost and two cost headliners. This is the perfect time to roll for two cost headliners. Uh, Bard is nuts. Uh, Bard is... I, I, I had a game uh, off stream uh, where I had a headliner Bard, and it's very cool. You play like a full horizontal comp. Um, it's, it's, it's very cool. Uh, where where you, you just have Jazz going, and you just play as many as many traits as you can. Um, it's very fun. It's very fun. And then Bard, Bard is a scaling, uh, scaling headliner. Very difficult to hit. Very difficult to hit. You know, it's not free, but it's fun. So, take that as you will. Sweet. We'll buy, we'll buy a unit here. 20 gold, one streak. Perfect, perfect stage one. Where, where's, where's inconsistency when you need it? Maybe I should have voted for all silver. Ooh, and there's Seraphine. There's Seraphine. That's exactly what I was looking for. So we'll get Seraphine out there. So now we have KDA. Okay, and now, now it looks like actually Hull Crusher would have been amazing. Because uh, KDA, so we have we have this this little dance floor that, that, that tells us where we have to put our units. Uh, and our units get empowered when we put them in the correct squares. Or the correct hexes, excuse me. Um, but Seraphine's excellent. 
likely what I want to play here. Um, like I said, if we can get Ser if we can get Seraphine as our headliner uh, to carry us for a bit, it'll be great. Y'all saw me, you know, y'all y'all already saw me play uh, play Seraphine reroll, so you know I won't won't necessarily put us through that again. Um, but this Mumu is also very good. I'm hoping that I drop one more gold here. I don't want to sell this Mumu, but I'm ha I have to. I do have to, unfortunately. Very sad, very sad. Nico 2 is excellent. Nico 2 is absolutely excellent. This tier likely becomes a tank item. Um, at this point, Archangels is kind of scuffed because KDA and Spellweavers go hand in hand together. Um, so you, you don't necessarily want to like build like an Archangels or anything. You just want them to cast because KDA gives a bunch of AP. Spellweaver gives even more AP. You know, you combine them together, you're, you're, you're chilling. You're uber chilling. Um, and we'll probably promote Nico to become our, our primary tank at this point. Um, we'll come come next turn. Um, and yeah, we definitely need a new headliner. Um, and of course, Eternal Winter, while we're waiting for this fight to go on. Eternal Winter. Enemies who damage the holder are chilled for 1.5 seconds. After 7 chills from this item, the user is stunned instead. Nice, we managed to win that. Very cool, very cool. Can't sell the Mech 40, unfortunately. Infusion, Combat Caster, Salvage Bin. Probably not Salvage Bin. Encore. Don't think so. I kind of like Infusion here. I kind of like Infusion here. More, more casting, you know? So we'll level. We'll sell this. Put her back out there. Let's see if we can find a new headliner. Hold on to these two. Disco Dazzler. That could be interesting. Mordekaiser. Bard. Oh, do we pivot here? Do we pivot here? Check this out. Play Bard. And Twisted Fate. And then we get this. We get this over here. Wait a second. Oh wait, wait, that's why she did extra item. Okay, let's let's try this. Let's try this. Let's try this. We have jazz units on the bench. Uh, Annie, you're out. Let's see if we can get, let's see if we can get a little jazz going here. Now we do have a headliner bard. Oh wait a second, I have I have perfect bard items. I have perfect bard items. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Hold on a second. I want I want this bard. I'm gonna sell this. Okay, okay, hold on a second. I have, I have, what am I doing? What am I, what am I, what am I playing Twisted Fade for? I have perfect bard items. Yeah, yeah, okay, 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 do this. Play Jazz. Okay, we're doing, we're doing, <laughs> I can't escape. I can't escape. We're re-rolling, we're re-rolling. <laughs> oh, I can't escape it. Um, okay, okay, so, bard. Uh, play a four-note tune at random, at uh, at random, playing three possible notes. A dute, which deals damage, a chime, which heals, or a tip, which drops one gold and plays another note. Uh, the headliner effect, the finale of Bard's cast each combat spreads an additional dute for every eight times he's cast in this game. Dutes deal additional damage. So essentially, you get him casting a bunch, which Infusion is awesome for. Um, you get him casting a bunch, he'll scale into the late game, it'll be awesome, and then we just play, we play a big, um, I mean, this is what I'm talking about, we're playing, we're playing a big vertical board. I mean, we have all the we have a lot of pieces already. Yeah, so Ken and Lilia. Um, surely want super fan. Yeah, I mean this. I mean we ha we have the board for it. We also want Kaisa. Who do we drop though? What a second. Ken and Lilia, Kaisa, Nico. Oh, we do Kaisa over. We do Kaisa over Seraphine. That's what we do. Oh, this is fun. This is fun. We literally have perfect items for him, so now we just need tank items. How do I make jazz? How do I make a jazz emblem? With a cloak? Hmm. You just want tank stuff at this point. Uh, a belt here I wouldn't be upset with. This 
sweet. Okay, 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 sweet, sweet, sweet. Yeah, so we put this in. So, so jazz. This is, this is fun. I, I didn't, didn't intend to do this, but we are, uh, we are, we are, we are sending it here again. So we will play Kaisa here over Seraphine. Sell, sell. Does Echo make the cut? Echo does make the cut at some point. Um, buy, buy, sell. Redemption. And so Jazz, Jazz. For each non-unique trait active, your team gains bonus health and deals bonus damage. We are gonna be activating every single dang one of these traits. We're gonna be activating every single dang one. And we are we are back in the reroll nonsense here. <laughs> oh, how fun, how fun. Can I, can I escape? Can I escape it ever? We will find out. And we get to hear a cool sax solo the whole game. Like, how can how can you beat that? How can you beat that? Sweet business. Yeah, right. Wait, where's? Oh, there we go. There we go. Yeah, we need. We I need. I need to get those emotes. Uh, I, I'm, I'm I'm for sure gonna add them for next next stream when I go live tomorrow night. We will we will have some uh, we will have some some emotes for you. But all right, and I guess we can just start rolling, right? Like we're above fifty. Look, Kenan. There's only the, we're not gonna, we're not three starring anything except for Bard. Um, we're already very close to Bard, which is nuts. Which is freaking nuts, dude. Oh, here's the QSS. No, no stuns. No stuns for this Yasuo. Oh, is this Yasuo gonna ruin my streak? Come on, surely he can't. Oh, big stun, big stun. Come on, come on, Bard, come on, Bard. Oh, play that sax, play that sax. And another another stage where our streak is, is absolutely just, just demolished. Sad days. Misfortune 2, that's not too bad. That's not too bad, if I do say so myself. Hey, AG Mudbone, thank you for the follow. Thank you for the follow, my guy. How you doing today? Couple of belts. Ooh, it's a triple belt. What? What the heck? What the heck? Okay, I guess we're making a Warmogs. And we'll, we'll dig a bit here. We'll see how many bards we can get. I guess we'll hold on to Nico's as well. If we can three-star Nico, I won't be upset. Lilia too. That's nice. Let's not. Let's not. Let's not dig too much here. Let's not dig too much. Let's remember our roots. Let's remember our roots. And this guy, ooh, this guy's got a big true damage stat going. But as you can see, look at look, look, look at Bard. Oh, he dropped me some money, which is awesome. I can make 50 for sure. And he's, he's, he's sending out some additional dudes on his first cast. We should start seeing more soon. Now, I think, I, I think, I don't have any stats to back this up. There's no, there's no stats out on this, on all this stuff quite yet. But, um... But I have to believe, I have to believe that um, this is this is real good because the Eternal Winter is amazing because Rageblade is, is huge right now. Remember your roots? No. Not a lot of people are going to be sharing their traits with me. Not today isn't great. Portable Forge++. Plus plus. Not necessarily stoked about that. Best Friends is kind of troll because I'm... I, I'm, I'm forced to be in this alignment, so these guys won't get best friend benefit. So I'll just go support cash. Um, and Obsidian Cleaver. Obsidian Cleaver seems to be very good, in my opinion. Um, and who does the most like AOE? Like I guess I guess I'll go Obsidian Cleaver, and I can throw that on Misfortune. That gives me the the pen that I'm missing. 
Also should have been rolling here, but I'm a dummy. Okay, if we get cannon three, we get cannon three. Like, I don't want it, but I'll take it. Also, I probably want to hold on to Lulu. Lulu's, Lulu's actually a great splash. Uh, and the great thing about this is that I'm, I'm naturally leveling, thanks to patient study. So, patient study is actually lending itself slightly well to uh, re-rolling. Which, of course, makes me quite happy. Grab the Lulu. Where are the dang bards? Probably have to dig a bit. We're, we're, we're gonna naturally level uh, pretty soon. So we do have to dig a bit for this bard. Uh, soon. Sooner rather than later. Also, okay, realistically, like, we're not three-starring this, not three-starring this. Could two-star this, this comes in next. Someone else playing Bard? We're all the dang Bards. Ooh, Rogue has a conch, some country team. Can Bard take him out? Come on, let's see Bard. Dude on him. Alright, not perfect, not perfect. We'll dig here. We'll dig here because we're gonna we're gonna naturally level next turn, I think. What could I go for here? Ooh, I mean Lucian's nuts. I don't think I'm getting a Lucian though. Some more of a healing. How much damage is everyone doing? Nico's doing a lot of damage, huh? Misfortune, it's alright. I'll grab misfortune. I'll probably grab a rod. Okay, I'm not grabbing a rod, never mind. Do I have anti-heal? I don't have anti-heal. I can grab a vest. Okay, well, I won't be grabbing a vest. I'll grab a crit glove. What does Bard do? I, I, I went over it, but I'll, I'll go over it again because I love I love this champion. He's probably one of my favorites this time. So let me let me let me frantically roll for him really quick, um, and then once I three star him, hopefully we can talk about his ability. Okay, come on now. Kaisa 2, Bard. Okay, one off Bard. We send it. Lulu, I'm not, I'm not playing you yet. Get you out of here, get you out of here, get you out of here. Misfortune, get out of here. Echo's the next in. Lulu, we don't play you yet. Oh, unfortunate, unfortunate. Um, so, Bard. Play a four note tune at random using three possible notes. Doot, chime, or tip. So doot does damage, chime heals, and tips drop money. And then plays another note. Very rare, but it is it is cool when it happens. Headliner. The finale of Bard's first cast, uh, each combat spreads an additional doot for every eight times he's cast this game. Doots deal extra damage. So as you can see, so he'll be doing three doots um, at, the end of, at the end of the cast. Also, kind of grief myself here. I'm going to naturally hit seven, um, which is going to be sad. But it's going to be happy because I'm going to be able to play Echo at least. Oh, and I hit Bard. And I just hit Bard. How perfect. Oh, look at this. Look at this. The jazzy boy himself. Just in time as well. Awesome. Freaking awesome. So, 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 so. So, so the headliner, so the finale of Bard's first cast, each combat spreads an additional doot for each eight times he's cast this game, and they do extra magic damage. So three doots, so if you watch, so if you watch this, um, so if you watch this, so it's, it's the end of his first, so, so for one, two, three, and then boom, look at that, four doots, just, three doots got, just got shot out. Um, and so each time he casts, every eight times he casts, you get more and more. Um, so it's it's pretty dang sick. So he just scales like crazy. Uh, I also put in Sentinel and True Damage. That's two more traits that are active. So now Jazz is giving 16% bonus health and 8% bonus damage. We are going a nutty here. Oh, hey, look at this. 
Wait a second. When did they add that? When did they when did they add click in makes Oh, it's just it's just it's just that one. Okay, that makes sense. All right. But anyways, so we are we are we are we are, we are big chilling here. And alrighty, 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 alrighty. So so now now we just got a power level, and you know of course thanks to patient study we will be power leveling. Um, we want to throw in said eight we throw in Lulu, uh, at nine we can throw in like Sona. Um, and it's just all a good time. It's just all a dang good time. Get all these cannons. I should have gone cannon three, man. Okay, there we go. So I really wanted a Sunfire. So a Sunfire. Who's who's absorbing more damage? Cannon. Cannon's doing a decent bit, so we can we can Sunfire Cannon. Oh, he also gets a bling bonus for true damage. That's pretty good. Um, we will I E and Bloodthirst or Misfortune. Why not? Oh, oh, QSS, QSS. Oh, actually, I don't know why I thought that was gonna make a BT, but the QSS is actually awesome because uh, QSS now gives stacking attack speed um, and it also gives more crit chance. So that's gonna be very nice to get some extra damage out of Misfortune. And isn't this comp just beautiful? Now I do think I do think because um, right now this this bard has Dazzler uh, active rather than Jazz. Um, I think Jazz is a little better uh, if you if you get him with with Jazz. But at the same time, who am I to complain? You know, who am I to complain? Um, so we can't activate any more traits. Oh, we can throw in more super fans. So we throw in more super fans. So now we have super fan four. So we don't we don't boost jazz at all, but super fan four. Now we have extra health and omni vamp. Don't know how great that is, but it's definitely good for now. Um, once you see a Lulu in shop, that'll be that'll be something we want to throw in. I guess the Omni Vamp will, will kind of help this guy deal with some of the splash damage that gets sent his way. Nice! And Bard dropped us a tip as well, look at that, look at that! Excellent, excellent, dude, Bard reroll. I am, <laughs> I am, I am addicted to rerolling. And this music is just sick. This music is just sick, man. I think this is a first. This is like Bard. Bard definitely feels like a first place comp to me. At least, at least last time I played it, it was. Uh, this guy, this guy is quite strong though. Let's see. I'm fighting him. I'm fighting. Okay, I'm fighting the top guy in the lobby. Let's see. Let's see what I can get done here. Dude, the heals from Bard are actually kind of nuts. Oh, this guy's got a Sona. This guy's got a Sona. Sona's ramping up. We gotta kill that Akali soon. Oh, killed the Sona. That's huge. That's huge. Akali went onto the Nico. Oh, just barely. Just barely. So close. So close. 8 bit Heart Steel. I want more tank items at this point, which there are none of. I mean, a BT for Echo is is acceptable. BT BT is like an off tank item, and then, gosh darn it, man. F it, go with that. We'll go with that. F it, man. F it, man. So I'm gonna itemize Echo because, oh excuse me, 
Because uh, true damage units, when they get an item, they get a bling bonus. So while his shield is up, he'll heal at 100 every second by giving him an item. We, we give him that ability. Very cool, very cool. Um, and so we're probably sacking, we're probably sacking the rest of this stage and looking to go, looking to go 9. We're, we, had, we had a clear path to go 9 here. Ooh, Vex, Vex 3. A little scary, a little Scooby scary. But alright, now we're shooting out 5 dudes, so we should be able to do mass, massive damage. Boom! 5 dudes smacking everybody. Nice. Vex reroll. That ain't it. That ain't it. Maybe, maybe it is it, but it didn't work out for that guy. Also, I got an ad coming up. Let's see if I can snooze this. I gotta, I gotta get this cadence right. I gotta, make, I gotta make sure this cadence is right. I don't want you guys to miss the end of this game. Let's see if we can finish it up in six minutes. Alright, well, we top forward it. We top forward it. And that was, that was an easy top four, if you ask me. Listen to that sax solo. Listen to that. Listen to that sax solo. Gotta get jazzy on him. It's beautiful. It's beautiful. <laughs> um. All right. I guess we'll just pump. We'll just, we'll just pump it here. Get this guy true damage. Ooh. This guy's looking a little scary. This guy's looking a little scary. Not gonna lie. Ooh, this guy's looking very scary. But it's okay, it's okay. Because we're gonna level here. We're looking for... We're looking for... Uh, we're looking for Lulu. Lucian. And Sona. Those, those are the final pieces that'll, that'll cap off this comp. And also in this comp, you do want Echo to be your primary tank. Uh, Nico is not the perfect primary tank, but of course, you know, you gotta play what you're given. So, that is exactly what we're doing. Nar, I don't want to buy that. Ziggs. Sona. I really want a Lulu to go with that Sona. Oh, nice. So Lulu, Sona, Heal and Shield Allies, Nar, we're no longer interested in, Nar, Nar. Uh, Steph has heart, those are itemizing Echo. I wanted I want to replace, but at this, oh, I have an item remover. I have an item remover. So I can sell Nico, I can, I can re-itemize Echo, that'll be, that'll work out for us. Um, but all right, all right, all right. So with that addition, we got we got hyper pop and spell uh, and spellweaver in, which are both things, and of course they improve the power of jazz. Twenty percent bonus health, ten percent bonus damage. It is excellent. We have so many. Look at this. We have so many traits active. It it it, it fills up the entire screen, and there's even more traits active past here. Talk about getting mad horizontal on him, <laughs> on him, on it, on um, whatever. You know what I mean. <laughs> um. And so, the, and I guess we'll put, I guess we do this. Yeah, we haven't we have won the mana like this. Um, and so, yeah, and so the last thing, the last thing we'll put in is Lucian, which will give us more Jazz. And then, then this, this, this comp is capped. Let's see, how many, how many dudes is, is Bard shooting out now? Shooting out six dudes, and we're almost at eight. We're almost at seven. So now look, and we're gonna get, boom, hits the whole board. Hits the whole dang board. Oh, and, and Sona got her heal off. Very, very rare to see that happen, but when it happens, it's beautiful. Well, oh, this guy's just... Why is this guy printing so much money? Oh, Goldmancer, that's why. Okay, this guy's for sure the final boss. We really need a Lucian. We really need a Lucian. 72 to level. We're getting passive levels. 37 health. I think we're doing pretty good here. We're doing pretty good here. It's 
Let's see if we can pull something out of our bums. Let's see if we can pull something out of our... If we get Illusion on Carousel, we can just scream to level 10. It's very possible. It's the true damage guy. I think we should be able to beat him. And we're going to send out seven dudes now, which is very good. Is it good, though? We're kind of just feeding the board mana. Okay, big, big heal from Sona. Oh, 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 we got the Aphelios. Come on, guys, you can do it. No, 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 no. So close, so close, so close. No Lucian out here. Very sad. We, there's a Rage Blade. There's a Rage Blade that's great for Sona. So we'll grab that. It's quite playable. Sixty-eight to level. Okay, we're for sure making it to ten. We're for sure making it to ten here. So I got a Sona two. It's pretty scary. It's actually very scary. I mean, yeah, he's just printing so much money with that gold mancer. That's that's kind of disgusting. Yeah, this guy's got a, this guy's got a very good setup. KDA, KDA is very strong. We'll hold on to this Jin. Okay, we're fighting a ghost board. Bard is scaling. Two more casts. We'll be sending out eight dudes. Boom! Look at that. Smacked up the whole board. Our Sona's putting in work. Oh, nice. There's Sona died. Mine lived. Call it a ghost diff. I don't care. That's I'm fine with that. Echo 2. So I'm going to sell. Replace. Item remove. And get my big tank items on this guy. Do redemption gunblade back here. 64 to level. Alright, we're certainly we're certainly going growing ten. My favorite comp, my favorite comp is this one. My favorite comp is this comp right now. It's it's the it's the freaking bard jazz comp. It is uh it's just so much because like, I mean look at this, look at these traits. Literally, <laughs> I have so many traits active they don't even fit on the screen. Like, how can you beat that? Oh, I guess I guess the the Akali can just beat that, huh? Your colleague looks like she just she just beat that. I will I will uh, I will need to fix my positioning. But if I, if I get if I get Lucian out there, it, I don't do not sleep on how powerful of a, how, how strong of a power spike this is going to be. Getting this Lucian out there. And I do, I do apologize for my Twitch viewers. I will say right now, I'm getting, I'm getting the warning that an ad is gonna run in four minutes, um, and I, I don't have the ability to delay it anymore. The cadence is off. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fix that. So, you know, I'm, I'm gonna fix it. I will, I will prevent in the future ads from running during the game. Um, I think I have it figured out now. But you know, if you want to dodge this one, <laughs> consider dropping that prime sub. But I'm not only trying to extort or anything. I, uh, I, I just, I just, I can't control it. I don't know, how, I don't know how this junk works right now. So I, I apologize for that. Um, but okay, let us see if we can get a Lucian here. There's there's the Lucian. There's some more Jazz. Let us let us move this Bard a little more to safety. Something like this. And can I get a Lucian to? Oh, I can get a Sona to. No, that's a. Could add a Lucian too, but I'm too slow. Grab an item. Thieves Glove for Lucian, sure. Uh, okay, Jazz. So now we have 30% bonus health and 20% bonus damage. Let's see if that's enough. Let's see if that's enough to to take this guy out. My bard positioning is much better. My my echo is my my echo's a good tank. This Akali is trying to cause some problems. And oh! A second! A second, a second. Well, hey, at least, 
at least we beat the ad. <laughs> at least we beat the ad from playing. So y'all got to see the end of that one. Um, but I mean, that's that's a fun one. Um, you know, that's that's I, I really I really enjoy that bard comp. Um, I say the one the one thing really is you, you hit it earlier. I hit it a little late. I hit it on three two, which is still good cadence. Um, but you hit it a little earlier, you can get stronger. Um, and the second problem was uh, Bard gave me plus one Dazzler instead of plus one uh, Jazz. Plus one Jazz would have uh, would have given me a little more juice that I wanted. But uh, but overall, that's a fun comp. It's I think it's my favorite comp of the game right now. So definitely definitely try it out in your own games. So I hope y'all enjoyed that video. Please remember to like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch y'all in the next one. Bye bye.